What's up you guys, this is Adam Gillespie with Rancid and Sweaty Cavs coming at you with yet another video and I'll be talking about the Marvels trailer today but before I wanted to get into that I wanted you guys to see something kind of ridiculous regarding finding the trailer on YouTube you've got the teaser trailer up here you've got YouTube shorts up here but that's not exactly what I'm looking for and I keep looking down, oh there's a teaser trailer there's a reaction video YouTube shorts Blue Beetle, the Black Cat for some reason, more reaction videos, more YouTube shorts, the real BBC, which they react to it in that. You've got the Secret Invasion trailer before you can find the actual The Marvels trailer. You have a video talking about it from Geeks and Gamers that's over an hour long. You've got another video by Ryan Kennel that talks about the trailer. You've got two trailers that are the exact identical thing posted by a fake uh, fake trailer account called Screen Culture. You've got another tra you got another video by Ryan Kennel talking about Ray, which is Star Wars. You've got the Continental. Something else. It's from the world of John Wick. You've got all this stuff. You've got reaction video after reaction video after reaction video before you ever reach the Marvel's official trailer. <clears throat> Which is right here. The Marvel's trailer 2023. It was posted six days ago. And it is like the 21st result on the search tab when you look up specifically the Marvel's trailer. If that's not bad enough already, I don't know what is. Now, I will be playing this trailer in the background as I give my brief thoughts on what I saw in the trailer. So don't expect there to be any noise. Mostly because there's also copyrighted music. But we open here, there's lots of crappy CGI. It looks like something out of a Saturday morning cartoon. The premise of the movie is that the powers between the three Marvel's characters are so interconnected or so similar that when they touch this weird purple thing they wind up getting interconnected through some sort of space gumbledygook and we get to see this switch happen right in the trailer the CGI on that was pretty abysmal too because if you look at the way that they made anything look or work it's uh, it's not that great you get more of this stuff more of this weird stuff that they, they they're showing some of the differences between everything i want to talk about the like to dislike ratio on this as well last time i checked it was like 400,000 likes to 600,000 dislikes which is a massive ratio for marvel to receive also the costumes and the outfits in this wind up looking just so much like power rangers garbage uh, and then let me talk about that little moment there too where she comes crashing down on the coffee table and destroys it this is supposed to be the most powerful being in the universe right according to the marvel storyline they've brought up this is supposed to be somehow the most powerful marvel character <clears throat> in this mcu and she reacts like a complete and total child when she falls down on a coffee table. Instead of checking her surroundings and making sure she didn't hurt anybody or making sure she didn't make somebody go splat when she landed on him, she's just like, no, I fell down again, no, me. Oh my goodness gracious, this is so annoying. That really does constitute the mentality that a hero has to have in order to continue working in their, <laughs> in their way of doing things. It's very, very sad to see that this is what they're going with. The only thing that is really notable about the trailer is the fact that Brie Larson actually manages to cop a smile in this. They bring back the stupid cats, which is reminding us of the absolutely tragic storytelling that was involved in the destruction of <laughs> Nick Fury's really, really cool, mysterious background. You've got the woman accuser. Woman the accuser, as Gary Beekler likes to call him. 
the only character in this that might be fun would be Kamala Khan. And even then, Kamala Khan is an abysmal character. It's only the actress that makes her even slightly, slightly withstandable. Like this, this trailer has nothing really for it, nothing to it, nothing going on within the story. There's not really anything that really pulls anybody's attention. There's a unique premise with the quantum entanglement where they get switched and they swap places and whatnot. Yeah, sure, you can do that. It's not like it's been done a billion times before now, but you can do that and make a relatively interesting story. The problem is you're taking so much of what you could work on within the characters. You're destroying the initial looks and designs and outfits, and you've completely and totally wrecked their character development by having them all just get positive affirmation and find out that they're heroes because they want to be. Kamala Khan got her power shipped to her in the mail. In the mail! Her grandma sent her some power bracelets that gave her Green Lantern-esque abilities. Monica Rambeau walked through a wall and got positive affirmations and became the most bestest ever superheroism. Yes, yay, woo! And Brie Larson shot an engine and then got splattered in blue goo and suddenly became the most powerful being in the universe, even though that makes zero sense, seeing as how the Infinity Stone should be way more powerful than she is, and she only got like a fraction of 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 its power. Meanwhile, Thanos, who has the entire Infinity Gauntlet on in the <laughs> in the Endgame movie, suddenly finds it difficult to stop her. But these people don't understand anything that they're doing. They don't understand the writing or the concepts behind any of the stories or characters that they're working with. And it's just getting worse and worse and worse because they're just not paying attention to what came before. You know, Miss Marvel may have been an interesting character back in the day. She was an interesting character back in the day, but then they turned her into a raging feminist in the comics, and that didn't work out at all. And by Miss Marvel, I'm talking about the person they now call Captain Marvel. Like, it's just... It, they've skipped over decades of good storytelling for the purpose of engaging in modern, fourth, fifth-wave, feministic ideology that destroys any good faith that these characters could have had in them from the audience. And it's not going to go well for them. This movie is tracking horrendously. This movie has gotten a ratio on YouTube alone. If there are more dislikes than likes, and by the way, that dislike counter that I'm talking about is off of a Chrome extension called Bring Back the YouTube Dislike Button slash Return YouTube Dislike. Right? And that estimates it really low. Like, you could probably take that 600,000 number and add on another 300 to 600,000 downvotes on top of that because of how low this, this Google Chrome extension estimates everything out to be. Which just tells you that the massive amount of dislikes that came across the Amazon Prime's Rings of Power trailer and the sneak peeks and everything like that, the, the, the ratio on that alone was more insane. And the these guys are continuously getting more and more dislikes, and they're just ignoring it. They're ignoring it. They're, they think they can hide it and make sure that no one sees it. They're pretending that everything is okay. And it's because of this. They don't really care about making money anymore. They just care about compliance. They care about shoving this garbage down your throats as often as they can until you finally just give up and go home. Well, guess what? You've got people like Ryan Kennel, Gary Beekler, Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers, Jeremy from The Quartering, Critical Drinker, and a bunch of other YouTube personalities out there that, yes, aren't necessarily Christian. <laughs> I mean that 100%. They're not Christian. As a Christian myself, I would like to see more Christians talk about this because it is actually infecting the church as well. But... You have all these different people out there, these spokespeople who are talking about this and kind of being a voice for fans. And more and more fans are stepping up and talking about their opinions and their thoughts in regards to this stuff. And more and more people are waking up to the garbage that's being fed to them by these woke 
media companies. So keep up the good fight. Keep up fighting against this garbage because it's only going to get worse for them if they continue to go down this path. And make sure to have fun while doing it. You know, support people who actually do support you and support people who actually care about what you think. That being said, that's going to do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment down below your thoughts, share this video out there with your friends, and subscribe and hit that bell notification icon if you haven't already, if you're watching on YouTube. And if you're watching on Rumble, just make sure to follow me there as well. I appreciate any support you guys can give me. All right, that's going to do it. I hope you have a great day and a great rest of the week.